Ah, yo. I'm not gonna be loud and all energetic like I was on the first thing to this video. I really did do a second part to the video. To the review of Tupac. But for some reason, when I was doing the editing thing, it didn't put them together like it was supposed to. It made... Anyway, it just didn't come out right, so... Basically, what I was saying from the beginning of my other video was I was saying that if you think I'm lying about what I said about the KKK, like I said in the last video, the KKK can go around this day preaching a white power shit, saying how they hate people and all that. But when black people did it, they did it in their power to shut that shit down. Um, that's why I'm trying to tell a lot of niggas that's in the bloods and the crypts and all that shit. A lot of them niggas, they really knew what the Bloods and Crips was about. That's some of the younger niggas. They wouldn't really be in that shit because... A lot of Bloods and Crips really originated from niggas that was in the Panthers. You know what I'm saying? That wanted to still watch over their neighborhoods and shit. But then when the drugs and all that shit came, it turned the community out. That's all I wanted to say. And I said the FBI played a hand in that. Those on the two part all eyes on me review. But it cut off before I could finish saying what the hell I was saying. And I even did the video and I tried to merge both of them together. But some on my computer happened where it didn't work right. And I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, I don't know, it just didn't work. So, that's what that was about. But, looking at, like, the reviews of the movie, Jada Pickens and 50 Cent even say they didn't like the damn movie. You know what I'm saying? And it's not because they hating. Everybody told them 50 Cent is a hater. Are you just saying that? No, nah, I mean... This one time I do got to agree with 50 Cent. I have to agree with 50 Cent. All Eyes on Me was not a good movie. It could have been better. It could have been way better. It was okay. Like I said in my uh, previous video. It's okay if you knew who Pop really was, you know. But if you don't know who Pop is... And this is the first time, like, really seeing what Pop was about. I would recommend that you see Tupac Resurrection documentary before you watch this damn movie. Because this movie do not really tell you everything what Tupac was about. It just, it just don't. I'm just being so honest with y'all. I'm not sitting here trying to bullshit you. Or I'm just telling you some real shit, man. It does not let you know everything what Tupac was. I know y'all think I'm being crazy, but for all you that seen my Tupac All Eyes On Me uh, review, you know what I'm talking about. But like I said, that shit really should have been three movies, man. The beginning part really should have been like Tupacalypse Now. That's just my personal opinion. The first part, they should have made three parts of this movie. And all the beginning should have been like Tupac. Tupacalypse now, or whatever. You know, Tupac, the Tupacalypse, or whatever. Yeah. A second movie should pick up starting with all the shit dealing with the rape. That could have been me against the world. You feel me? And then. All Eyes on Me could have been the third movie. That's just my personal opinion. Even Jada Pickens said some of the same stuff I said. She said that the characters did their job. The characters was good. It wasn't that. They worked with Abraham and they said, but the, the, the direction of the film was... was um, if you know when you do a biopic, everything is not going to be exactly accurate. 
I understand that. I get that. You know what I'm saying? I really, really, I truly, deeply get that. You're not going to do everything that's going to be accurate. I understand that. And I'm not knocking it for that. But this movie really didn't signify who Tupac was to me. You watch this movie? Why are you going to really get out this movie? And Tupac rapped there. He made a lot of songs. He made a lot of money. He wasn't promised. Um, he was just a dumb rapper who spent his money on booze, weed, and bitches. And that was not true. Now, I said it in my, uh, you know, video, and I'm saying it again in this one. Tupac money was tied up where he couldn't do shit. Because all the money he was making, the feds and shit was making sure his shit was being held so he couldn't get himself out of trouble he was at. And whatever money he made from like doing shows and shit like that, that's the only kind of money he could get. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read the Kathy book, uh, the Kathy, the Kathy Scott book, The Shooting of Tupac Shakur. She said, she talked about one incident when it was one rapper, that Tupac was like, yo, I'm going to do the song for you for free because you're not coming up. There was another rapper, but Tupac wanted $30,000 to do it. But Tupac was only doing that shit like that for real. But Tupac couldn't get no money. A lot of his money that he started making for real was really under the table. Like... When the feds shut, that's the one thing I that's one thing I did not like about the All Eyes On movie. It didn't touch on how the feds was doing shit to him. How the feds, you know, froze his accounts. How the feds feds made that he couldn't own no credit, couldn't do shit. I just I won't feel in that. Like they sh that part they should have put in the movie. They really should have put that part in the movie. They really should have did that. They really should have did that shit. But that's it, man. I really didn't have much to say on the second part. I really, what I said in the second part was only like two, three minutes. You know what I'm saying? It won't even this long. But I decided since I'm making a video, I might as well go ahead and bring that shit up. But you got a lot of people that like have mixed reviews about it. And all I'm saying is I can't wait till the John Singleton like version come out because. That was not a good biopic. I'm sorry. It was okay. But. I don't know, man. That shit should have came on HBO or something. I should have went to HBO. Showtime or some shit. That's just my opinion. I'm out.